Hi! This video will be explaining physics behind spiral sequences and skating in general. Please watch the physics behind jumps and physics behind spins videos before watching this one, since there may be some concepts explained in those videos that will not be repeated in this one. This is a spiral sequence. Okay, we're going to start with the skating in general. Did you notice the skating before I started lifting my leg up? Well, you may or may not be surprised to learn that the reason I'm able to move on the ice is because of Newton's third law. Yep, you're right, Newton's third law is also what gets you into the air for a jump. If you remember, Newton's third law states that when object A exerts a force on object B, object B will exert an equal amount of force on object A but in the opposite direction. So you push the ice backwards and the ice pushes you forward. Next, you may have wondered how you turn from forwards to backwards and vice versa. Well, to know this, you first need to know a bit about torque. Torque is a quantity that measures the tendency of a force to rotate an object about an axis. So to turn, you generate rotating torque by having one leg fixed on the ice while the other leg pushes in the opposite direction. This is what allows you to turn. Now we can move on to actual spirals. A very important part of spirals, but also skating in general, is the center of gravity. The center of gravity is a point right above your supporting point when you are standing stably. It can change depending on your position. When you are moving, shifting your center of gravity to the left or right will not make you fall like if you were to do so when at rest. It just helps you skate on a curve. In fact, leaning to the left causes you to skate to the left, and leaning to the right causes you to skate to the right. When you are skating on a curve, it is most effective if your body is straight rather than crooked, because if you are crooked, the center of gravity of your upper body is different from that of your lower body. Not to mention, it is more aesthetically pleasing to be straight, and figure skating is supposed to be aesthetically pleasing. Now, you might have noticed that there are often edge changes when a skater is skating. An edge change is when you change your edge, whether it is from the inside edge to the outside edge or from outside to inside. An edge change is done by a shift in the center of gravity. If you are moving on one leg, leaning to the left, and then you start leaning to the right, your edge will change. If you look at the first position in my spiral, you may see that I am not standing directly over my leg, but rather I'm leaning slightly to the back. This is possible because I am moving forwards. I cannot, however, let the center of gravity go past my foot, because if that were to happen, I would fall backwards. This is about all there is to spirals and general skating in terms of physics, so this concludes our video. I hope you learned something new from me, and I hope you had a good time doing it.